spectral structure and their function. <coughs> Next is the size of bacterial cells. So what are the size of bacterial cell? So here this is a size range is there. This is the size range is there. So in human eye, our eyesight is we can uh, we can uh, see any object which are more than versus uh, whose size are more than one millimeter or 0 0.1 millimeter. So if an object is uh, less than 0 0.1 or 1 millimeter, then we cannot see those uh, things by our normal human eye. Okay, so that things we have to see by the light microscope. Okay, and the light microscope range is 100 micrometer to 1 micrometer. So all the microorganisms we can see by light microscopes that are 100 micrometer to 1 micrometer. Okay, so in hydro, uh, 100 micrometer range, we can see the colonial algae that is amoeba. But in uh, 10 micrometer range, we can see the red blood cell that is a human cell, white blood cell, also the human cells. But the most bacteria which we are discussing here, most bacteria fall between 1 and 10 micrometer in size. So these are the bacterial size that is the 1 micrometer to 10 micrometer in this in this uh, size in between this all the bacterial sizes are there. So rickettsia like rickettsia bacteria or rod shaped bacteria like E. coli or coccus shaped bacteria that is the staphylococci all are present in this size range that is 1 micrometer to 10 micrometer okay. So in this size range all the bacteria are present. So suppose <coughs> one bacteria one bacteria uh, that is uh, don't have any cell wall that is the microplasma we cannot see those microplasma by this light microscope because their range is in nanometer range. So we have to see all the microplasmas and all the viruses by the electron microscope because their range are in nanometer range that is 200 from 200 nanometer to 1 nanometer we have to see those microorganisms like viruses or microplasmas by the electron microscope so one thing we, i have to add here that is the <coughs> how we can convert uh, this uh, nanometer or micrometer or millimeter into meter so one millimeter here one millimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter okay and one micrometer one micron or one micrometer one micrometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meter okay and one nanometer means one nanometer means 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So here you can remember uh, remember it by it uh, its difference in its reduce the size by minus 3. So in meter uh, in millimeter that is 10 to the power minus 3 in micrometer that is 10 to the power minus 6 in nanometer that is 10 to the power minus 9. Okay, so this is the size range. Okay, so by electron microscope, we can see the viruses and microplasmas. Also, the diameter of DNA is 1 nanometer. We can also see it by electron microscope. Okay, so these are the size range and which are used to see the microorganisms that means the human cells or the bacterial cells or the viruses. Okay, so now move on to next. So here also you can compare the human hair or human cells with the bacterial cells. So how find structure of bacterial cells, the different structures of bacterial cells and human cells. So this is the human hair structure. We all know human hair is a very thin, uh, very thin in size. So this is the human hair. So in comparison to human hair, these are the bacterial structures or human uh, body cells. So if we zoom this portion, if we zoom this portion in 2000x, then we can see this uh, 
<coughs> picture so here this is a ragret pollen that is the allergen and this is a lymphocyte that is a white blood cell and this is a this is the red blood cell and here very small things we can see these are the bacterial cells there so if we if we further zoom this portion then we can see this if we zoom this at 20000 x then we can see these are the bacterial cells this is the bacterial cell that is the e coli that uh, size is like 2 micrometer okay this is another bacteria that is staphylococcus that is also 1 micrometer in size okay and the viruses size are here this is more small that is ebola virus or rhinovirus they are very small compared to the bacterial cells so this is the view of human cells bacterial cells or viruses okay so this is the size of the